Greetings everyone, and welcome back to Haversack Hill, and of course, to Backpack Hero. Right, we've got many people with quests available for us, uh, four in fact, so uh, let's start at the start by uh, talking to Vivian. Librarian here, reporting for duty. I was told that Haversack Hill is getting quite large, but still no library. We need to change that. Okay, researcher building. Learn about powerful relics here for each commercial decoration nearby. 5% efficiency. Okay, fair enough. Once you build one, we can really learn new things about the history of this place. Oh, I should also mention that I'm an expert on the many languages that are written across Ordaria. If you find anything to translate, it should be labelled as Law. Bring it to me, and I'll be happy to translate it for you. Do you have anything new for me to read? Yes, in fact, I do. I... Oh, actually, these are just... Uh, etchings. Hmm, do they still count? Ah, here's something for me to read. Oh, whispers. The kind king ruled justly for many years until he found something below, something that followed him back up, whispering secrets he should have never known. His open hand became a closed fist. Kind of feels like uh, almost our mellow in design there. I, I get a strong Armello vibe from that. Wow. I've added the translation to your atlas. Learning about these new cultures gives me an idea for a new costume for you. Uh, okay. If you bring me more to read, I can look into more costumes too. Do you have anything more for me to read? Yes, I do, actually. Uh, here we are. Uh, the dog's etching. Ah, here's something for me to read. Dogs. A vulture circled overhead. Four banners beneath it. After thirty days it descended and tore the dogs asunder. Those who remained sailed back to their isle in a far-off land. Oh no! Are there no doggos here? Worst of days, this is a cursed world. I've added the translation to your atlas. A uh, new costume? Ah, yes. The ninja. Um, okay. Not sure what that has to do with dogs, but fine. We'll go with it. I don't believe I have anything else, do I? No weapons, accessories, no. Okay, we're done. Great looking items, but I don't think there's any text there that I can read. Fair enough. And you are Quill Swish. Political aspirations, heroic exaggerations. Have you contributed to my campaign for mayor? You're running for mayor? We have a mayor? Not yet, you don't. I am Mayor Quill Swish Jr., and I intend to be your next mayor. My father, Lord Quill Swish, the second, was the mayor of Haversack Pack before it fell into disrepair. All this time I've been waiting to claim my birthright. N mayor? That's not a hereditary title. And now that my town is recovering, I have returned. Wait, so you waited until your town was recovering to come? Uh, typical bloody landowner. Yes, you've done all the adventuring and fighting and risking your life, but someone has to handle the true risks. The voting public. The first thing I need is a small donation. Let's say ten pieces of treasure. Do you have some treasure I can have? I just need about ten. You see, all my insects say no. However, I know that you are the way that I get to the town hall and how ridiculously useful that building is. I just wish it was someone other than you that could get me to that building. You suck. Fine, here you go. Fantastic. Now I will consider myself a proper mayor. Please, swear me in. Uh, sure. I'll repeat after you. Whenever you're ready. I don't know the oath. It goes like this. I, Purse, adventurer and settler, do hereby swear in Mayor Quillswish Jr. in the duly confirmed title of mayor. Therefore, I now appoint you Mayor, Mayor Quillswish Jr. What? Mayor, Mayor? Your first name is Mayor? It's my birthright, and it is my family name. As for you, I can see that you are well prepared to handle this sound. Allow me to help you. You can build as many of these as you want. Oh, you actually give us farms. Okay, so you are moderately useful. Uh, create five food while you are in the dungeon. For each farmland tile nearby, plus two percent efficiency. Farms will create food while out of entry. Uh, residence building increases population. Okay quite useful actually and houses will attract new villagers we can't expand forever though the costs will keep rising right well you're back again i am you're never going to stop going there are you 
not until this town is rebuilt. I will once have a Sarkil is rebuilt. I can't sit still while my home falls apart. This place hasn't been the same since King's raids. If I wasn't for my bad leg, King would have conscripted me. And then you'd be all alone. Purse, if something happened to you, after losing Prada, I don't think I could live with here without you. I miss Mum too. I'm sorry I worry you, Dad, but I know I have to do this. I know, Pers. I'm still trying to open this dang locket! Well, you just keep focusing on that and stop worrying about me. Oh, that's fantastic. You actually pathfind instead of just going straight to? Oh, that's glorious. The stuff you bring back always sells. You find amazing things down there. You can hold on to stuff forever if you want, but I recommend selling as much as you can. Maybe if we keep selling stuff, someone will stop by who knows something about Mum. It could happen. Of course, getting you deeper into the dungeon is going to help too. Yes, for anyone who is worried that, oh, well, you know, you don't get like three levels deep runs anymore, that's kind of locked behind story progress now. At least in story mode. I've got some powerful equipment. I can start you with this stuff. A uh, new quest, energy delivery. You start with these items, a token of energy, a shield and a sword. So it's slightly different from our current one. Uh, when an adjacent or diagonal item is present, this item is disabled. But if there is not, you get one more energy. And then after the run ends, you get a lost spark. And also a cornucopia. Use it to get through at least three floors of the dungeon and you'll get a reward. So anyone else wants to chat? No. Okay. Uh, is there something I can build? I can build... A... No, we're ways off that one. No matter how we slice it, we're a ways off that one. We need more population and we need farms. Creates five food while you are in the dungeon. Right, I want the farms to be somewhat isolated, I think. Uh, uh, I put you a little bit too close in there. That's a shame. Okay, well, I probably want another farm around here. Well, no. I was really hoping that that would be enough room, but apparently not. Can I build another one? Can I afford to? I can, actually. Only 20, but I would prefer to build a house. Okay, let's increase population. Uh, we don't want to put it too close over there. I don't know if this gets any efficiency, but let's put a lakefront property. There we go. Oh, rather. Oh, yeah, is that a lake there? Or is the river feeding into a lake? Or is it just a pond? Uh, we don't know. For all I know, this could be the coast. Beachfront property. Uh, either way, we've increased our population, which is great. Now let's go and sell all of our junk. Now, I'm not sure if uh, I will always start with a bit of town stuff, because it might be a bit more engaging to start in the dungeon. So we'll we'll play it by ear, and I'll, I'll experiment a little bit. But do let me know down in the comments if you prefer doing the town stuff before we do a dungeon run, or doing a dungeon run and then doing town stuff, and then possibly uh, you know wrapping the episode up there. Uh, but that should bring us in a pretty penny. There we go. Actually, that was... Ooh, I, maybe I should have looked at doing that first. Damn. We're just off from doing a library. But at this point, I could build another farm if I really wanted to. No, I want to hold off on the library. Uh, I, I would have actually not built these if I'd realized. Uh, can I destroy anything yet? No, I need a bit more population for those. Okay. Right, well, let's go on an adventure then. We've got a quest, and we are, of course, going to go as Purse the Ninja. Uh, energy delivery. So this is one of our quests. This would just be a standard run with whatever I've got unlocked, unlocked. Uh, but this one is going to start us with a slats shield, which in my opinion is a better shield. Because um, it takes only two spaces instead of four and gives one extra block. The wooden sword is basic and the token of energy now is going to be a bit of an interesting one. All right, let's go on our adventure. But first, let's take a sip of tea. Everyone knows that no ninja goes out on a mission without a sip of tea. I mean, come on. It's common knowledge. There we go. This will give us plenty of energy. Four energy, my lord. Uh, right, we don't need healing. What's this event? Hark, you are greeted by a member of the patrol. I'd like a weapon. He reaches into his tunic and pulls out a weapon, tossing it to you. Oh. Uh, okay, that's... Uh, Fairly simple. Uh, vampiric Blade. On use deals two damage, but it heals. Ah, that's good. Having a source of healing is huge, but I'm going to lose this for a little bit. 
because I can't give up my main weapon yet. Um, but now, since I've disabled that coin anyway, I may as well look at what else we can find. Maybe. Already. Ugh. I would have preferred to find that later. Alright, so this is just a, a normal run with less stuff. Um, okay, I'm going to need... How much damage can I do here? I can, in fact, take you out. Leaving you around is going to be more of a problem. I, I'm going to have to tank a bunch of damage no matter what I do. So, if we have a look at uh, use item... Oh! Oh, that is very nice. Haven't seen that before. Vampiric heals for all of the damage dealt to non-summons. Again, got to always watch out for the, the summon part. But okay. Come on, then. Scoundrel. Uh, okay, well, I'm just going to block the incoming damage here. Uh, I will be able to get through your shield, so I'll do a little bit of damage. This I can block in one go. And then just attack you with that twice. And once again. We'll win on the next round. Ooh. I would have to take eight damage to pick this up. I mean, stats-wise, it's the same thing. But it has the additional ability to switch around. Now, there is, there is a a way that you might want to use this in its crying form for example poison one poison is always going to do damage to you even if you've got block so at that point it would work <sighs> but i would have to tank eight damage if only that coin was active i'd be able to grab it but i'm gonna say yes we're gonna do it Yoink. thank you finish reorganizing Oh well, tonk. And we will... Uh, actually, if I'd uh, gone for full hits, I probably would have killed you at this point. So that was uh, poorly planned on my part. A totem. If there is an empty space above, creates a totem. Adds on use at six block. Uses each totem in this column, and then it's destroyed. No, we're not worrying about that. No. Right, need a load more room. Uh, let's open those up properly. We do, in fact, win. Now, if I can, I would like you to be up there by yourself from now on. Uh, you do still count diagonals, which is a pain. That works, though. Uh, if I pop you over there, then I could still have this. Uh, would this be a better one than this sword? I wouldn't be able to use it as many times, but that would encourage me to use the Vampiric Blade. Actually, maybe what I should do is have everything at the top, since that floats. Shimmy you out. Bring you in. And I get everything in position? I can. And I've still got one space there for something else. Uh, do I want to take... Potion that deals 12 damage to all enemies. Potion that adds slow and weak to enemies. Or one that heals. I think we'll go with the one that heals. Okay. Not bad. Uh, at this point, I can happily accept this healing. First things first, gonna heal. Use item. And now I can just throw the cup at someone. It was a good drink. Uh, right, okay, so wallop you for a good bit of damage. We're now only gonna be taking six. Gonna heal up. Can I hit you? Well, I can hit you for six there, or I can hit you for ten here. I think I'll just go for the six, and I don't really need the healing, but... Right. I'll finish you off, and then one, heal. Yeah, this is not too bad. That thing, Peric Blade, will, will pay for itself in time. Alright, I want to continue isolating this single coin. And then otherwise increasing the main body of the backpack. You can now live over there. Happily. Hopefully. Uh, right, we've already got a cleaver. We've got a couple of things here, actually, that are interesting. So we want the lucky ring. It's always a useful one to have. Now, the dragonfly 
Each turn moves forward one space, and then turns clockwise. When this moves, adjacent weapons get plus five damage. That's actually a really, really nice item. We can lock it in a cage so that it's always adjacent to something. Now it does have to move to affect it, so it'll move up, it'll turn, it'll turn, it'll move down. So every three turns it'll give a bit of a bonus, and every six turns it'll give a bonus to two weapons instead of just one. But it's not a bad one. Um, we've also got the Spade Cleaver. Deals four damage when a cleaver kills a uh, uh, non summon enemy, plus one damage in this combat, or I can pick up the shiv. Can be used one time. Each turn on uh, hit deals two damage. If I pop this there, it gives me even more damage incoming. This one gets a little bit less damage now, but I think the free to use shiv is huge. Having loads of shivs is a genuinely potent build. And you can get items which build on shivs even further. But generally, items that increase damage in a shiv build are the way forward. Right, you're going to do 8 damage, but you've only got 16 health, which I should be able to get to fairly easily because you just moved. Womp. And uh, this is doing 14. How much are you doing? You're doing 8, so I'm going to use the one that does exactly the amount of damage I want. One. And I'm not going to be able to take you out, sadly, so I'm going to use the shield there and just do a little bit more damage. Right, you're going to turn. No bonuses this turn, sadly. But that's fine. And we get some items. Ooh. Supplies. Sells for 40 extra materials in Haversack Hill, but it's four. Oh, that's so much room. So much room for it. Painful amounts. I'm absolutely taking this, though. We will grab a key. I could also grab a shiv as well. I mean, it isn't a terrible setup, but... I'm lacking space. I do need that next level. Uh, on the first move, we're going to get these three all buffed. I would prefer the first move to buff these three instead. This is going to give us some passive block, which is good. Alright, let's move on. Of course, I'm going to go for the other fight. Uh, you're not doing any damage this turn, so I don't need to worry about you. Let's just wallop you into oblivion. And... And use my shivs follow up with a vampiric blade. If we can get a 2x2 two two space just circled with weapons, that will be amazing. Right, we're blocking all the incoming damage. Uh, yeah, may as well just use this. That's also adding weakness, so it's constantly reducing your damage. And again, the all stacks decrease by 1 per turn. Uh, right, how do we want to build this out? I think I think extra three spaces are on that side. Let's see if we get some new weapons. Uh, we got the Heart Cleaver. Okay. At this point, I can shimmy you across. I do still kind of need you where you're at. So I'm going to move these around a bit. Um, like that. I can pop the heart cleaver in there. Actually, you go clockwise, so we want to do it less, this way around. We've also got the hard hat. For each hazard below it, gets one block each turn. But it does start with one block, which is nice. Otherwise, it would be kind of a useless one. Uh, okay, that all seems quite nice. If this was per combat, that would absolutely be brutal and glorious in every measurable way. Uh, this already deals so much damage, I don't feel that I need that one to be getting the, the benefit as much. But having the cleaver get a, a bit of extra damage is really quite nice. In fact, I'm going to plan around how long it takes me to do enough damage to kill something. I'm going to say on the second turn I can usually take something out, so the heart cleaver being there would be good. But honestly, the heart cleaver is the least of, useful of the cleavers for me right now because I already heal from the vampiric dagger. Let's jump into the next area. Oh, exactly the same setup. Uh, okay, you're going for a curse straight away, which is something I really just cannot allow. Let's take you out, please, and thank you. Going to need uh, these two. Well, yeah, I'm going to need these two in order to stop the incoming damage. Yep. 
At this point, I don't need to worry about it as much, just because I can stack up the, the weak. Uh, this will do 10 damage one. Eight. And... Yeah, may as well pop that in. Actually, I should have been using the shivs the last time. Why didn't I use the shivs? Why didn't someone remind me? Uh, oh well. There we go. I should really move that one over there because it'll get more use much faster. Uh, we will go with, I guess, you seven damage. Two damage. There we go. Right, okay. We've got the bashing shield. Does damage equal to your current block? Oh. On you, steals zero damage and removes 50% of blocks. So you still need another shield in order to use that. A bit painful. Fluffkai Sigil. This item has a use in Haversack Hill. <sighs> what am I going to drop for that? I think I'm going to lose the key. Also, as I said, I want to shimmy those around a little bit. This way, the, the two of these uh, shivs will get the upgrade on the last turn of the, of the circuit. Okay. Alright, let's see what you've got. Snail over there, doing a decent amount of damage, but definitely got the least health. Uh, I'm actually going to be strategic about this one. I'll try to. Uh, let's drop a bit of damage there, get both of those going. Uh, which one would be the best? It would be you, ultimately, but I'm going to need a shield. There we go. We'll still take a bit of damage, but I can always heal through that. Now, I've got two slimes. Uh, let's not put the slime over there. Now, the problem with this is they're going to multiply out. No matter what I do, really. Um, I'll pop you down there. Now, the way that this works, each turn creates goo in all adjacent spaces, and then when destroyed, destroys all adjacent hazards. Hazards, not goo. Very important to make that distinction. Um, because you can use this to get rid of much more dangerous hazards. But it does cost one point to get rid of it. But it takes them all out, effectively. You always want to put them both fairly close together because of that. Actually, I should have put it both of them down there. But you notice how uh, some of the items were disabled um, because they were completely covered. Uh, what we didn't want to happen is have any of my passive items covered in that way. That's why I didn't put it down here on the token of energy because it would have just disabled it at the start of the turn, which would have taken away my extra point of energy. At least this way, we've got the full amount of energy I would normally have. Right, let's just get rid of you completely. And at this point, I can start dropping in some more damage. Keep stacking up the uh, extra damage on you. Uh, extra weak, rather. At this point, you're reducing an enormous amount of the incoming damage. And at this point, you literally can't hurt me. Not that it really matters, because you're going to be dead. Okay, two lucky items. We've got fish here. Uh, consumable on use. Add eight haste to self. We've got a spade cleaver. Now, this one is better than the Heart Cleaver. I would like that in there, though, to have both of them. Because they... Mm, yeah, they both uh, synergize with any Cleaver doing damage. We've also got the Tilted Sword. On you, steals 7 damage. Each turn gains more damage. Honestly, the Tilted Sword being there would be grand. I don't actually need the Cleaver in any particular place, but I don't want to lose my two shivs. They are, they are a very useful item. Um, if I pop this up there, is there a way for me to set this up such that I get everything I want? Probably not. I want to take this back, I want to take that back. I guess the lucky ring isn't as important to me. Uh, is the cleaver more important to me than the shivs, which cost me nothing and I can use every single turn? These I will only use when they've been upgraded. And this one, while it will slowly get more powerful, only in a particular cleaver build. Should we should we go for the more interesting builds? I think we shall. We'll we'll bank on trying to do something fun. Let's go and fight another fight. Right, wanna take you out of here as quickly as I'm able to. Uh, let's go for 14 damage in one hit. Followed by a seven. Uh, I'm gonna take a chunky bit here. Uh, I can get rid of you, though. I could have let you stay until next turn in order to get another shield. I probably should have, realistically speaking. But with how often I end up using my Vampiric Blade, this is fine. 
You're now doing nine damage. Can I get you to the point? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. If I do this twice. Both of them triggered. So this is now per uh, sorry, not permanently, but for this combo, I got a bit of extra damage. This is already up to 10 damage just from existing for this long. All right, you're now doing 16 damage a pop. That is absolutely brutally great. Uh, just pull you all the way down, and I can finish you off with either of these. Yeah, I can finish you off with that if I, just, if I wanted to. Just for the shiggles of having this have a little bit of extra damage on it. Not that we're going to use it. Now, here's another cleaver on you. Steals four damage. We are stacking the cleavers, but this one is the least useful of them all. Also, having this blade here isn't actually getting me plus two damage here, which is a shame. Um, it's a crying shame, actually. Uh, da, 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 da. And that one's blocking this from ever getting any bonus. But we are aiming for a cleaver build, which means eventually I'm going to be getting rid of this, and instead we'll just have a stack of cleavers, hopefully. I mean, that's the end goal, just having a bunch of cleavers together. Uh, right now, this is good enough for me. Uh, I always want it to be moving in this direction, though. And I think that's good enough. We're not far off our next level. We've had a lot of fights in this part of the dungeon so far. All right, we've got the Gerbil Ruffian. Uh, we're going to go, as always, go for the uh, Thief first. Take you down as quickly as we're able. And finish you off with this cleaver. Although I could do it with this one if I really, really wanted to. Uh, we're going to take no damage this turn. Now, I've got to do 14 total damage to change this up, which I should easily be able to do. Uh, just two hits of the Vampiric Dagger will take that care of that for me. Uh, we're not really going to get to a point where I can I can take you out, so I'm just going to stack some weak on you. Uh, so that next turn, it isn't a concern, and then we're going to finish it off with this blade. There we go. Nice, big, chunky level up. Uh, where do we want to start putting things. At this stage, I want... Ooh, let me, hmm. What I could do instead is... Start shimmying things around a little bit more. Moving this further and further away is always going to be useful for me. There we go. What the heck are you? Teddy Bear Sword. For each adjacent accessory, plus two damage. Oh, it deals a decent amount of da flat damage, to be fair. Um, I'm going to move that over there, and uh, we can get back in a sapphire. There we are. Not too bad at all. Um, if I really wanted to, I could put that in there. Uh, in fact, I can place this over here now. Uh, let's have a look at you. The machete can be used only one time each turn, but deals three damage to all enemies. Uh, I kind of want that, if I'm honest. Because whenever that gets a, an upgrade, it becomes really quite quick, uh, brutal. But I'd lose my heart cleaver, and I'm not willing to do that right now. Uh, is there anything else I can shed for that? Because the, the legendary coin is working too well for me right now. I guess we'll just keep this one in there. I'm sorry, Sapphire, it just wasn't meant to be. But having this over here is a decent place to put it, I feel. If we get another hat, I would very much like it, because they, you know, they give a lot of block for what they are, for a single tile. Uh, health or experience? Always experience right now. Pick up a little bit of extra cash, though, while we're out here. Ooh, hello. You see a wall up ahead and think you need to turn back, and then you realize it's not a wall, it's a huge rodent. A capybara. Hello, friend, he says. I'm looking for items of this type. Weapon. I mean, I could. I'm going to see if I can find something I want less, and I'll bring it back to you. We'll see what we can do. I wonder what's in this shop. Have you got a cheap little weapon I can pick up? Yes, you do. It costs me one. It is a weapon. This is why you go to shops first. Glorious. Uh, this is a legendary weapon. It has piercing. It deals 11 damage to all enemies, plus one. What? That is so much better than this. PC attacks go through armor? Well, 
And it's got five upgrade slots. We can't upgrade yet, but oh my lord, that thing is amazing. Bowl of fruit sells for 10 extra food in half Oh, that's actually quite nice. Uh, how much is this? 35. Yeah, we can easily afford it. All right, let's go back to the capybara. There you go. He takes your item. That's great, he says. Maybe you want one of these instead. Game, really? Why do you give me such terrible choices? <laughs> There's too many things I want. Well, this is just straight up... Well, I was going to say this is straight up better than my um, dagger, but it comes with a pretty big caveat. Yes, it heals me for 10 damage instantly, but it adds 3 poison. Now, you've got to remember, 3 poison goes straight to my health. I can't block it, so... Uh, the first turn, I'll take three poison. The second turn, I'll take an additional two poison. And the next turn, I'll take a, a final one poison for a total of six poison. So really, I'm only healing four, and I can only use it once in that time. Because if I use it again, I stack more and more and more poison. The higher that poison gets, the worse it becomes. Uh, it doesn't just last longer, you know. If I use that two turns in a row, I'm taking six damage the next turn. Um, on see, no, I, I, I've already got my eye on an item, and I'm going to be selling the machete in order to get it. This is a huge item too. I'm not sure we're going to get to the point of getting a, a, a cleaver build. The game is trying to trying to swerve me off target. On you, seals four damage, add four burn to enemy. No, we're fine. We're going to go back. We're going to grab the uh, the lance. Uh, actually, first, I'm going to check this shop. Uh, some nice things in here, but nothing I really want. Uh, at this stage, I we're not going to get the land, so I may as well grab this old coin. Sells for 10 extra treasure in Haversack Hill. Uh, can I see what's going on at Haversack Hill right now? I can't. That's a shame. All right. Uh, I would like this in exchange for this. I will sell that to you. I will buy that. It is glorious. I love it. And at this stage, I guess, we're getting rid of the cleavers too. Um, yeah, I think at, at this point we definitely are. Uh, I could get the floating sapphire there. Or I could grab the bowl of fruit. I think I'll go for the bowl of fruit, frankly. Until we're at the point where we're doing deeper dungeon dives, building a, a strong uh, synergy build is going to be hard. Doing that in only three layers is going to be rough. Are you a summon? No, Hive Guardian. Angry. When attacked, adds one rage. Uh, but you are about to summon some stuff, so I want to take care of you first because you're an actual enemy. Right. It deals 11 damage to everything. Let's go ahead and use that. Womp. Uh, then I don't need to use this one right now. It's eight damage. Ah, oh, as well, I suppose. Uh, there we go. And at this stage, I might as well use this again just to stack the the weakness. All right, you're a summonling. You only have sixteen health. I can go ahead and take you out straight away. And uh, add a little bit more weak. Uh, is there any reason to do anything other than use this again? Uh, yeah, because it's only two damage more than the club is right now, and the club was doing a pretty solid uh, bit of work with the weakness. All right, you're going to try and summon and then shield all summons. Once again, we want to take you out. Hit you. It's going to do nine damage, so let's use that. There we go. Uh, this is already doing ten at this point, so we'll pop that in. And once more. Take you out. Can we finish you up? Yes, yeah, so easily. Take everyone out. And there we are. That is this run complete. Let's go and grab ourselves some treasure. We no longer care what's going on there, but we have completed this quest now. I think you can run the quest multiple times. I'm not entirely sure on that one, though. Hello, everyone. Has anyone got something to say to me? Uh, do you have anything to say to me? Let's have a look. Hi, hi. 
How can I help you today? Uh, how does research work? You can research items to make them appear for the first time. And that means you can now discover these items in the dungeon. Keep learning about new stuff. You'll discover new items, upgrades, and new events. If we learn enough, we might even attract some new adventurers. And maybe one of them will know how to go deeper. I sure hope so. Well, I mean, that seems quite a re uh, reasonable thing to imagine. All right, just saying hello because I need to sell. All right. Let's get rid of all of these things. Oh, can't get rid of them. Again, you can't sell thi things that... Oh, my lord, I thought... Uh, <laughs> I thought I just sold the last box. I was about to say, oh, you can sell things that are important. No longer just randomly clicking everyone. <laughs> I was wrong. But that'll get us a decent little bit. There we go. Very nice indeed. Uh, right. Can I use this to build the library? We can, in fact, build the library. Let's go ahead and build a library. Uh, sure, I'll pop. Well, actually, does this get any particular bonus? Uh, commercial decoration. I think the shop is commercial. Yeah, okay, so these two can go next to each other. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go and chat with our, our librarian friend. Do you have anything new for me to read? Uh, do I? Yes. Ah, here's something for me to read. Spiral. Circling around a point, constantly shifting, spinning, and turning. It is said it is circling around riches beyond imagining. I've added the translation to your atlas. Learning about these new cultures gives me an idea for new costumes for you. Uh, okay. If you bring me more to read, I can look into more costumes too. I'm not sure what that ha costume had to do with that, but okay. Uh, Fluffkai's sigil? Ah, here's something for me to read. Fluffkai. Always learning, ever striving to grow. Fluffkai studies a ball of sap's ancient glow. Mastering magic, their powers unfurled. Kai is a thief, the frogs accused, they hurled. But fate swiftly silenced the frog's cruel woe. Hmm, okay. Uh, I don't have any more for you to read now. May the pages of your life be filled with knowledge. What a lovely thing to say. Uh, let's check with that. I'm still trying to open this bloody locket. It's glued shut, I'm sure of it. Okay, so we've got the library. Um, I would need these items to unlock these items. So red cotton would unlock fluffy cotton. If you played the game in early access, you probably recognize these as relics that you would sometimes get from bosses. Uh, but it seems there's now like a... Are they exactly the same? They are exactly the same. Uh, so I'm not really sure why I would want to research those, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, right, well, given that, I think we've done everything we can in Havasak Hill for today. Can I build some more stuff? I can, I can get more food, which would be nice. We earn food on, on each uh, level we go through, but right now I think we want more houses, frankly. Um, is there a better place for me to place them rather than by the farm? Uh, let's see, can I sneak one up here? No, maybe over here. Sure, place one in there. Up to 14 now. We need to get up to, I think it was 20 to get the first bit of rubble. Can I build another one? No. A little bit too expensive. Too rich for our blood, I'm afraid. All right. Well, next adventure it is then. Once again... Uh, ah, sure. We'll go with someone else. I'm fairly certain... Was the Ninja Naruto running? I think it might have been. All right. Well, let's go for uh, another reward. See what... Uh, what secrets await. But I'm afraid that you're going to have to find out how this run goes. In the next episode. Again, do let me know down in the comments if you prefer to have uh, a episode opening with a dungeon run or finishing with a dungeon run. And uh, we'll go from there. But do be aware that I am recording a couple of these in advance as I have a uh, bit of a trip coming up in about five days time. I'm going to be away for about five days. So I'm going to try and uh, get a couple of these episodes recorded and interspersed amongst other things on the channel. So it might take me a few days to uh, actually put the consensus into effect. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you in the next but until next time, and as always, do take care, and may your dungeon runs be successful.